The Cooks and Confectioners Dictionary, or The Accomplished Housewife's Companion was a cookery book written by John Knott and first published in London in 1723. Context Knott had been the chief cook for a string of aristocrats, named on the title page of his book as the Dukes of Somerset, Ormond, and Bolton, and the Lords Lansdowne and Ashburnham. Book contents The book describes how to make savory dishes including bisques, farces, fork meats, marinades, oleos, puptons, ragouts, sauces, soups, pottages. Pastries include biscuits, cakes, custards, puddings, pies and tarts. Confectionery includes candying and conserving flowers, fruits, and roots, as well as jellies, marmalades and decorative sugar works. Drinks include the making of beer, cider, mead, perry and English wines, as well as cordials. The book ends with a list of suggested bills of fare for every month of the year. The book is prefaced with a four page introduction to all good housewives, beginning, Worthy dames, were it not for the sake of custom, which has made it as unfashionable for a book to come abroad without an introduction, as for a man to appear at church without a neckcloth, or a lady without a hoop petticoat, I should not have troubled you with this. The introduction ends with, Your humble servant, the compiler. There follows some divertisements in cookery, used at festival times, as Twelfth Day, and C. The main text is laid out as a dictionary from Al to Zest. It included items now unfamiliar, such as battalia pie of fish, a very large pie, and cut with battlements, with as many towers as will contain your several sorts of fish, which included salmon, cockles, prawns, oysters, and periwinkles. This is followed by bills of fare, terms of art for carving, instructions for carving, the manner of setting out a desert of fruits and sweet meats, and the alphabetical index. Approach Since the main text is an alphabetical list, there are no sections, and the recipes stand alone without instructions on kitchen equipment or general comments on types of dish. The entries are named, either like, asparagus with butter, as dishes, or like, to make an amulet of asparagus, as goals to be attained. The ingredients are not listed. Quantities, if mentioned at all, are simply included in the text, as, an egg or two, relying on the cook's judgment as to the exact quantity needed. Cooking conditions are similarly mentioned only in passing, as over a gentle fire. For example, to make an amulet of asparagus blanch your asparagus, cut them in short pieces, fry them in fresh butter, with a little parsley and chibbles, then pure in some cream, season them well, and let them boil over a gentle fire, in the meantime make an amulet with new laid eggs, cream, and salt, when it is enough, dress it on a dish, thicken the asparagus with the yolk of an egg or two, turn the asparagus on the amulet, and serve it up hot. Additions First edition, 1723, C. Rivington, London. Transcript, reprinted 1980, Lawrence Rivington, London. Introduction and Glossary by Elizabeth David. Reprinted 2012, Rare Books Club, 2nd edition, 1724, C. Rivington, London. With editions 3rd edition, 1726, C. Rivington, London. With editions, reprinted 2005, Thompson Gale, Farmington Hills, Michigan 4th edition, 1733. C. Rivington, London. Reception Not's recipe for hot chocolate is said to be delicious. The bibliographer William Carew Hazlitt, in his 1902 old cookery books, considered not well read and intelligent as he drew his recipes from many sources at home and abroad, including, to dress mutton the Turkish way, not. S. Queen's Pottage is recreated at the Gilbert Scott restaurant, though the Telegraph notes that the chef, Marcus Waring, omits the original coxcombs. Not. S. Salmagundi is likewise reworked by Heston Blumenthal in his dinner restaurant. The Oxford Companion to Sugar and Sweets notes that the ubiquitous creme brulee appeared in the dictionary, but that Elizabeth David had traced not's version to Francois Massiello's recipe in his 1691 cuisinier Royal et Bourgeois, rendered as burnt cream in the English translation of his book, The Court and Country Cook of 1702. The Colonial Williamsburg Foundation comments that Knott seems to have plagiarized heavily from Robert May as well as Massiolot, without explanation. Notes References, <references>